Like a Virgin is all about a girl who digs a guy with a big dick. The whole song is a metaphor for big dicks. No, it's not. It's about a girl who's very vulnerable and she's been fucked over a few times and then she finally meets a sensitive guy. Whoa, 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 time out, Green Bay. Tell that bullshit to the tourist. Who the fuck is Toby? Like a Virgin is not about a nice girl who meets a sensitive guy. Now granted, that's what True Blue is about. No argument about that. Which one is True Blue again? You don't know True Blue? That was a big ass hit for Madonna. I don't even follow this Pops and Tops bullshit, but at least I know about True Blue. Listen, asshole, I didn't say I didn't know True Blue. I just asked what it's about. Sorry, I'm not the world's biggest Madonna fan. I hate Madonna. Mm. I like her early stuff, you know, Borderline, Lucky Star. But once she got into her Papa Don't Preach face, I don't know, kind of tuned out. Fuck all that. I'm trying to make a point here. You're gonna make me lose my train of thought. Oh, fuck. Toby's that little Chinese girl. <laughs> What's that? Old notebook I found in a jacket I ain't worn in forever. What the fuck was her last Where name? Where was I? You said True Blue was by a nice girl who finds a sensitive guy. But Like a Virgin is a metaphor for big dicks. I'll tell you what Like a Virgin's about. It's about some regular cools who's an old fuck machine. I mean, all the time, morning, day, night. Dick, 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 dick. How many dicks is that? A lot. Then one day, she meets this John Holmes motherfucker, and it's like, whoa, baby. He's like Charles Bronson in The Great Escape. He's digging tunnels. Now she's getting this serious dick action. She's feeling something she ain't felt since forever. Pain. Charles. It hurts. It hurts her. It shouldn't hurt. Her pussy should be like bubble yum by now, but when this cat fucks her, it reminds a fuck machine what it was like to be a virgin. Hints. Like a virgin. <laughs> wrong. Fuck <laughs> you wrong. I'm right. The fuck that you know anyway, you're still listening to Jerry fucking Vale. Not wrong, dumbass. Wong. You know, like the Chinese name? <laughs> Give me this fucking book, Joe. What do you think you're doing? I'm sick of fucking hearing it. For the past 15 minutes now, you've been droning on about names. Toby? Toby? Toby Wong? Toby Chong? Fucking Charlie Chan. I got Madonna's big dick coming out of my left ear, and Toby Jack, I don't know who, coming out of my right. Why do you care? Well, you're annoying as hell. I care a lot. Give me my book back. You gonna put it away? I'm gonna do whatever I wanna do with it. Then I'm afraid I'm gonna have to keep it. Hey, Joe, you want me to shoot this guy for you? <laughs> shoot me in a dream. You better wake up and apologize for it. <laughs> hey, have you guys been listening to Kate Billy's uh, Sounds of the 70s weekend? Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Can you believe the shit they've been playing? No, I can't. You know what I heard the other day? Heartbeat. It's a love beat. By Tony DeFranco and the DeFranco family? I haven't heard that since I was in the fifth fucking grade. Mm. When I was coming out here, I was listening to it. Then the nice light went out and Georgia came on. Now, I didn't listen to that song since it was big. But when it was big, I heard it a million trillion times. I'm listening to it this morning and I'm just now realizing that the lady that sang the song was the one that killed Andy. You didn't know that Vicki Lawrence was the one that killed the guy? I thought they said the cheating wife shot Andy. They literally say it in the song. I know. I must have zoned out when they said that part. I thought when she was saying that little sister stuff, she was talking about the cheating wife. No, she kills him and the cheating wife. Yeah, and the part of Gypsy, Tramps, and Thieves, when she said Papa would have shot him if he knew what he'd done. I could never figure out what he did. Okay, I'll take care of this. You guys get the tip. Book. Sorry, it's my book now. Blonde, I changed my mind. Shoot this guy for me. All right, everybody, doing the book for the little lady. Come on, doing the book. Ah, uh, I don't tip. What you mean you don't tip? I don't believe in it. You don't believe in tipping? These ladies make shit. Don't give me that. She don't make enough money, she can quit. So let me get this straight. You never tip. I don't tip because society tells me to tip. I tip when someone deserves it. When they put forth the effort, then they deserve a little extra. But this tipping automatically, that's just for the fucking birds. For what it's worth, they're just doing their job. But our girl was nice. Our girl was okay. She didn't do nothing special. What's special? Take you in the kitchen and suck your dick? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go over 12% for that. Look, I'll order a coffee, and we've been here a long fucking time. 
Now she's only filled my cup three times. Why not order a coffee? I want it filled six times. What if she's too busy? The words too busy shouldn't be in a waitress vocabulary. So you don't care that they count on your tips to live? You know what this is? It's the world's smallest violin for the waitresses. You don't have any idea what you're talking about. These people bust their ass. This is a hard job. So I was working at McDonald's, but you don't feel the need to tip them? They're serving you food. Shouldn't you tip them? But no. Society says tip these guys over here, but not those guys over there. And I don't see them cleaning the fryers. <laughs> these people are taxed on the money that they make. When you don't pay them, you stiff them. Waitressing is the number one occupation for any female non-college graduate in this country. It's basically any job that any woman can get and still make a living off of. The reason is because of the tips. Fuck all that. Look, it's fucked up that the government taxed their tips. That's messed up. But that ain't my fault. It would seem that the waitresses are just one of the many groups the government fucks up in the ass on a daily basis. You show me a paper where it says the government shouldn't do that, and I'll sign it. But what I won't do is play ball. And this non-college bullshit you're talking about? I got two words for that. Learn how to fucking type. Because if you expect me to help out with the rent, you're in for one big fucking surprise. He's convinced me. Give me my dollar back. All right, Ramblers. Let's get to rambling. You didn't throw in. Mr. Pink. Mr. Pink. Why? He don't tip. You don't tip? He don't believe in it. You don't believe in it? Nope. Shut up. Cough up the buck, you cheap bastard. I paid for your goddamn breakfast. I'll throw in a tip because you pay for breakfast, but usually I wouldn't do it. Whatever. Let's get rolling. See what I'm dealing with here? Infants. Fucking infants!